Hi, everybody. It is Thursday, June the 11th, and today we're here with Jody. Jody's with the um, recreation. She's a recreation coordinator for the town of Innisfil, and you know, programming recreation, of course, was one of the kind of first and hardest hit of all of the activities that uh, and services that the town provides. But they really um, pivoted and came out strong. So, Jody, why don't you tell us a little bit about? how the uh, your services have changed through uh, the new normal. Sure. Um, so once we kind of got shut down and uh, everything kind of got put on a hold, we thought, okay, so what can we do for the community? How can we keep going? Um, everybody's schedules got completely stopped. There is no sports, there are no activities, um, no going to work. So we thought for our communities, well-being both physically and mentally how can we continue moving on and providing for them so lucky for us we got the go ahead to continue offering our recreation programs free to the community um, we tried to stay within our scheduled program so if people had already registered for a fitness class or um, yoga or meditation we tried to keep our programs all within the same schedule and what we did was we turned them into virtual programs so we have them you register they go to a Zoom, and so every Thursday at seven o'clock, you have a body and uh, body sculpting class or a boot na a butt nabs class. Um, but also recognizing that not everybody has a nine to five job that can do that, so we also accommodated those that don't have those nine to five jobs and still have to work, you know, in the evening or early mornings because of kids. So what we did was we also moved a bunch of programs over to um, on demand video. So you can check out those videos at any time, do it at your leisure, get the kids to bed, hop on, do a meditation or do a yoga or a fit break, whichever it is. Um, so we, we were able to kind of go virtually in a few different aspects. And that's awesome because I know if it, anybody's working from home like me, I notice I spend way more time sitting mm -hmm. and not getting as much activity. So really great to have those services available. And we've also, we're offering something else uh, with uh, our new in-city cafe that's at the Risardo Health and Wellness Center. And uh, here with us today is Chef Adam, and he's going to talk about our online cooking classes. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, so basically we've been... Uh, during when this pandemic started, we were trying to find a way to give back to the community, but also kind of promote cooking at home in a way that we can kind of pass on our knowledge from the kitchen to those that have more time on their hands now, but also something that is um, basically that, that fits within the budget because we do know that a lot of people did get laid off and we, we want to be accommodating in that sense. So we came up with the idea to offer cooking classes, which kind of uh, reflect around things that are on sale um, at local grocery, grocery stores during this week. So from there, uh, basically what we'll do is take a few items that are on sale that week and put together a menu um, or a, couple, a few recipes. And during the cooking class, I'll demonstrate a, a few techniques that I've learned during my professional career and how to replicate that at home. So basically the idea is that you can have a, a nice, you know, modern fine dining meal, but in the comfort of your home. And, and again, I'm using techniques that are are maybe new to some people, but easily approachable during virtual, like through online cooking courses. That's amazing. Nobody needs cooking classes more than I do. And being at home all the, all the time now cooking a lot more, but really appreciate that. And I have to give you a quick shout out. I was able to uh, get a, one of your takeout quiche the other day and it was just absolutely delicious. So um, yes, takeout is always a good option for people like me who, who don't cook. Um, and Jody, uh, the other thing I want to talk a little bit about is how we're going to do our fall programming and also about a big event that we were going to celebrate uh, for our third year this year, the Youth Mental Health Summit, and, uh, and how we've managed to bring that online as well. Um, yeah, so this would have been our third year for the Speak Your Mind event. We have approximately 250 youth that attended that event. Um, we all know more now than ever how important mental health is. Um, and you know, students are really struggling with the social um, distancing and being stuck at home and isolated and not seeing their friends. So 
I continue to work with the school board and try to figure out how we can engage the youth. Um, we tried to do a virtual youth summit at first, um, but the schools were finding they just weren't getting the engagement virtually with the students. So that's when we decided to go to um, a virtual platform with on-demand videos again. And we were lucky enough to get a keynote speaker, Ryan McPhail, who's this young gentleman who's gone through um, a lot of struggles through addictions, um, jail, um, and he's a fantastic guy that's completely turned his life around. He's working with CMHA and he's given his email address. Um, and because his story is so touchy and relatable, um, he's had a lot of people reach out to him and ask him questions. So I think that he really drew that audience that um, we needed to come and watch those videos. And we've had a lot of great views and a lot of great um, comments from the students and stuff. Um, as for our fall programming, um, in leisure services, we're always a season ahead of ourselves. So right now I'm already starting the fall programming. So what we're trying to do is we're going to continue hopefully with some physical programming, but we're also gonna continue with our virtual program because it's been so successful, recognizing that not everybody can get to those centers and get to those um, places for activities and maybe they're not comfortable. So we'll continue doing some virtual programming as well. That's wonderful. So please take, take advantage of all this is, that is available to you uh, right in your own home. And hopefully sometime soon we can join together because uh, I believe we're just about to do the ribbon cutting at the Hordinsky Community Kitchen just when the COVID hit. So I'm hoping sometime that we can gather and have that celebration and uh, enjoy some of Chef Adam's uh, wonderful food at that time too. So take care Innisfil, be well, and we'll talk again tomorrow.